guys, it's Morgan Ann, and I'm back with another video. This time, it's a Walmart back to school shopping video. And today, I'll be going to Walmart, checking out their back to school supplies, showing you guys what's up, you know, maybe getting some supplies. You know, we don't know, maybe because I've already been to the Dollar Tree and Target. You guys should totally check out those videos. I have them linked in the description down below. And if you haven't seen on Lil's face before, hey, oh, what's up, Homeschooler Biscuit? My name's Morgan, and you should totally subscribe to be part of this. A uh, bam, bam. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at I am simply Morgan. Tell your girl oh, what's up and on oh, what's happening. And let's get started with the doom, 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 doom. Video, video. Walmart. Are we going which way? That way? Since Walmart likes to play loud music, I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this. So let's get started. Anyways, I am currently looking at bullet journals and let me tell you, Walmart has some cute bullet journals. Like you can see them right there. They pop in, they fresh, they clean, they're cute. I was surprised Ooh, myself. Just then spilling. we got the composition books. This, this one was a composition book. So this is most because it's like just a girl boss building her empire. And I was like, yes, yeah, living for it. And they just had so much cute stuff. Literally had notebooks yeah. for everybody. Like, look at that sparkly one. It is gorgeous. And then they had a simple one that was much thicker that had more stuff and everything was reasonably priced which you know i love because not everybody has money to you know be breaking the bank for school supplies so i thought that was really awesome and i feel like walmart has upped their game with their you know school supplies and made them more are trendy more relatable so that people who buy them you know not gonna be like oh this is basic nope this is popping because we got these flowers the lover print the same you know they had everything like look at this composition book i'm pulling out i was like oh my god it's holographic i'm living for it i mean who doesn't like holographic things because i know i do and there was just so much to pick from they literally had everything for everyone for notebooks graph paper that was in notebooks and then they also had ones that weren't in notebooks and I felt like that was really cool not gonna lie Walmart had so much to offer I actually just had to stand there for a second and go um wow there's like so much I can get maybe I don't want to get too much but I was like man like, good prices popping things I'm not against it and I was just really just thinking like seeing me having like a full-on thought process moment of what am I getting <laughs> Then, as you can see here, they have a bunch of different planners for back, well not back to school, but just like the school year, which I think is great. So they have different styles, they have the spiral um, planners, they have just like almost like composition-like planners, they just have smaller planners, they have a bunch of different planners, and then there was planners with different things, like the one that says amazing things will happen, and a whole just like a plethora of different types of planners. They had regular line paper, they had 150, they had 500, you know, there's the prices for them, you see? The prices, and then I call these the miracle binder. And these binders honestly have so much in them. They have just like different slots, different dividers, they have pencil cases in them. Like they have so much. And honestly, these ones were only, I think like between like 15 and $20. So it wasn't a bad price at all. Um, the ones at Target were 25, 30, and those weren't bad either. I think the ones at Target had more in them. And then they have dividers and they have different types of dividers. They have cheaper ones, they have more expensive ones. You know, whatever floats your boat, I feel like Walmart has it. And then they have a crazy amount of binders. Like look how many binders they have. They have one inch, they have two inch, they have more durable binders. They have different colors that I never usually see, like the mint color you saw. Then they have regular white, black, blue, red. And then they have pink, and then they have smaller sizes where it's like one inch. Oh, they also had a three inch one, which was crazy. And then they had a bunch of folders. They had different colors, they had different styles. And different type of folders they had were paper folders, plastic folders, three hole punch folders. They had creative ones like the Joker one you just saw. 
They also had this holographic one that I really liked because you guys know I like holographic stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm loving for this one. And then back to the binders, they just had so many options for the binders. Literally, it'd be so crazy for you to walk out without finding a binder for yourself. And they have a bunch of clipboards, which is great because you never know when you need a clipboard. Then they had a bunch of crayons, like a bunch, different styles. I literally cannot with all these crayons. There's so much. They had markers, they had regular Crayola, and then they also had the Walmart brand one, which is called Crazy Art. And I was like, wow, this is a lot. The color pencils, it just had so much for you guys. Like, look at the twist up ones. like. Those look fresh as can be. There was 30 in that and it was only six bucks. Like that is not a bad deal at all. So I've never seen this many markers before in a package. I always see like a huge amount of crayons or colored pencils, but never like 64 markers. So whoa is right. Just whoa, whoa, whoa. And then the only thing I didn't see with the crayons was the crayons that have the sharpener in the box. I didn't see that. That was the only thing I was like, where's the crayons with the sharpener? And then I was just trying to see, like, there was some crayons that had, were washable. There was crayons that weren't washable. I mean, I still don't understand the point to the washable crayons because I just feel like you're, you're coloring not paper. Like, I don't, I hope you wouldn't color on the wall with, you know, crayons unless, you know, you can, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> art class they have a couple sketch paper for you guys to use sketch notebooks so you can use that during your art class which i think is great too so next we found some rulers they only had two options you know the traditional wooden one that's like 25 cents so it's the same price as the one at target then they had like kind of flexible but not as flexible as the one that i have or that i got from target and <laughs> that one's only 32 cents so I feel like Target had more colors and more options when it came to rollers. And then I found some pencil pouches and one had a lock on it. I was looking at it, I was like, first, why is it 1288? Then I saw the lock and I was like, oh, that makes sense. They had so many different types of whiteboards. They had ones for your locker, they had ones for your bedroom, they had ones that teachers could have in their classroom next to their desk outside of the giant whiteboard that's in the classroom. But there was just so much. They had a calendar one, which I think is really cool and I would probably have that in my room. I almost bought that big one, but I was like, I don't have any space for this. Literally, I have no space on my wall for this. So I can't buy it. I want it and I probably will get it in the future. It's one that had a cork board on it and then a calendar with it and then a bunch of stickers and markers. And I was like, wow, that is a good deal. I had sets of folders like that came with like six or maybe five. Then they also had pocket folders that had like 12 dividers in them. Some had six dividers. This one I just showed you had six dividers. This has a set of six folders and then this one had 12 dividers in it. And it's really pretty. They had really pretty pocket uh, file dividers. They were all such a good price then that there was just a pocket document holder I don't know what it was but I was like I could use this for so much more I could hold my pens and pencils I was like I can do so much with this I could put paper in it it was large enough to fit paper I feel like it could hold a lot of things if I wanted to put in markers I can pretty much use it for anything that's school related or it has anything to do with school supplies and they had so many different colors and different designs i really like the black and gold one i also like the blue and gold i really couldn't decide but i like them both guys they had so much glue from spray adhesive glue to glitter glue to glue sticks to just regular glue they had it all they had the walmart brand one they had the popular elmer's one and you had packs of two, you had packs of four, six, twelve, giant glue, just a bunch of glue. Now we have come to the pens. 
the pencils and guys there was so many there were so many different colors there were different style there were black red blue and then they had other colors it was so much if I showed you every single thing that I saw in there let me tell you this video would have been an hour long because there was so much I was like Jesus this is a lot to offer. They had expo markers, they had skinny ones, they had fat ones, they had ones with erasers and sprays and colors that you usually don't see on a whiteboard. Then they had Sharpie highlighters, regular highlighters from Walmart's brand. And then they literally had like a crazy amount of Sharpies. Literally any color you could possibly think of, they had it. And I was like, Wow, wow, wow. See, look at me. I'm confused. I'm over here struggling. I'm trying to figure out what I want. There's so much. It's in my face. I'm like, I can't decide. I don't want to mess up, even though you can't really mess up picking out school supplies. Well, you can. It's just the whole struggle. I'm literally just like, I'm trying to find things and I'm just like, mom, what do I pick? Because I just don't know. I literally was just like, mom, what do I get? I just don't. I'm back from Walmart. This is what I got from Walmart for my back to school supplies, which if you guys want to see what I got, then definitely check out my back to school video, which I have linked in the description down below because currently I'm having a giveaway. You definitely should totally check it out and, you know, enter the giveaway. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to join this up. Bam, bam. Also, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at I am Simply Morgan. Tell your girl a what's up and a what's happening. And I'll see you guys in my next video. A peace out. A home skillet. A biscuit.